Hi, welcome to the video solutions for the Corp Maps practice questions on 3D shapes and edges, faces and vertices. If you need any extra help on 3D shapes or edges, faces and vertices, if you go to corpmaps.com forward slash contents and scroll down to videos number three and five, there are the video tutorials on those topics if you need any extra help on those. Alternatively, you could scan this QR code at the front of the booklet. But in this video, we're going to go through the answers now to the practice questions, so let's get started. So question number one. Question number one says the names of five solid shapes are given. So we've got five options. We've got triangular prism, sphere, cube, cuboid, and cylinder. And it says three of them are drawn below. And we've got A, B, and C. And we've been asked to complete these statements. And shape A is called a. Well, if we have a look at shape A, that's a cuboid. So shape A is called a cuboid. Our next statement, shape B is called a. And if we have a look at shape B, that's a cylinder. So we'll write cylinder in. So cylinder. And finally, shape C is called, if we have a look at shape C, it's called a sphere. So we'll write that in, sphere. And that's it. And if we just double check our list, we had cuboid, cylinder, and sphere in the list. That's it. Fantastic. Okay, question number two. Question number two says, how many faces does a cube have? Well, if you consider a dice, a dice has six faces. So because it's numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. So a cube has got six faces. And part B says to sketch a cube. So let's sketch a cube. So I'm going to start by drawing the square at the front of the cube. So we've got a square at the front. And then to get the 3D perspective, I do diagonal lines like this going backwards. And then I just join them up. And that's it. So that's my sketch of a cube. And that's it. So part B says sketch a cube. There's my sketch. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Question number three. So question number three says, below is a list of solid shapes. So we've got these solid shapes and their names. So the names. And we've been asked to match each shape to the correct name. So if we have a look at the left-hand side, we've got a square-based pyramid. We've got a triangular prism. We've got a cube. And then we've got a sphere at the bottom. So let's join them up. So this is a square-based pyramid. So let's join that one up to with its name, square-based pyramid. We've got a triangular prism. So let's join that one up. Then we've got a cube, so we'll join that up, so cubes here at the bottom, so we'll join that up. And finally, we've got our sphere, so we'll join that up to the word sphere, and that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question. So question number four. Question number four says, shown as a solid shape, so we've got this solid shape, and we've been asked to write down the mathematical name for this shape. So this is a cone, so we're going to write the word cone. And then if we carry on with the question, so we've now got the shape, which is a cuboid, and we've been told the shape above is a cuboid, so here's our cuboid. We've been asked how many faces does a cuboid have? So a cuboid has got so it's got the face on the left hand side and the face on the right hand side. So that's two, the bottom, the front, the back, and the top. So altogether that would be six faces, just like a cube. Okay, part B says how many edges does a cuboid have? So let's count the edges. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's twelve edges. So a cuboid has twelve edges. And finally, we're asked, how many vertices does a cuboid have? So the vertices are the corners. So if we just rub out those edges, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices. So a cuboid has eight vertices. So a cuboid has six faces, it has 12 edges, and it's got eight vertices. Okay, next question. Question number five. So question number five says, below is a solid shape. So we've got the solid shape and we're asked, what is the mathematical name for this shape? Now, whenever I look at it, I'm thinking of a tent or a Toblerone bar. So it's that triangular prism shape. And that's its name, a triangular, triangular prism. And it's a prism because it's got that constant cross section. It's got that triangle that just carries on the whole way through. And it's a triangular cross section. So it's a triangular prism. Okay, part B. Part B says write down the number of vertices. So let's count the number of corners, the vertices, where those edges meet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's got six vertices. And part C says write down the number of faces. So if we have a look at our triangular prism, it's got one at the front and one at the back. That's two. Then it's got the bottom. That's three. And it's got the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So altogether, there'd be five faces. And finally, we're asked to write down the number of edges that the triangular prism has. Well, if we count the number of edges, that's going to be one, two, three on the front, four, five, six leading backwards, seven, eight, nine. So altogether, there'd be nine edges. 
That's it. So a triangular prism has six vertices, five faces, and nine edges. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Question number six. So question number six, we've been given four shapes, a cube, a triangular prism, a square base pyramid, and a cylinder. And we're asked to circle the solid that has got five vertices. Now a cube, the vertices are those corners where those edges meet. So a cube, it's got four vertices on the top and four beneath. So a cube has eight vertices. A triangular prism, well, it's as we've just seen, it's got six vertices. It's got three at the front and three at the back. So altogether it would have, as you can see here, six vertices. A square base pyramid, well, it's going to have the four corners on the bottom, one, two, three, four, and then one on the top. So it's going to have five vertices. So that's it. So our answer is a square base pyramid has got five vertices. OK, our next question. Question number seven. Right, so question number seven. So question number seven says below is a solid. So we've got the solid here and it's a prism and the cross section is a trapezium so that'll be a, a trapezoid prism um, and we've been asked part a to write down the number of faces so it's going to have the face on the front and the back so that's one two it's then got the bottom so that's three the top which is four then it's got the right hand side and the left hand side so it's going to be five six so altogether there'd be six faces for that trapezoid prism part b says write down the number of vertices so that's the corners so let's count those one two three four four on the top, and then the bottom, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's eight vertices. And that's it, so that's question seven. So it's got six faces, and it's got eight vertices. Okay, so question number eight says, how many vertices does a pentagonal prism have? And I've sketched this pentagonal prism. So it's going to be a prism, and it's got that constant cross-section of a pentagon. And so we've got our pentagon at the front, the pentagon at the back, and we've joined them up. And we've been asked to find how many vertices it has. So that's the number of corners. So we've got one, two, three, four, five at the front. And then if we go to the back of the prism, then we've got another five. So it's going to be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's going to be ten vertices altogether for that pentagonal prism. A hexagonal prism, well, that would have a hexagon on the front and a hexagon on the back, and then it would have six faces going around it. So it would have eight faces, not six. Then our next option is a pentagon-based pyramid. So it's going to be a pentagon on the bottom and then five triangles meeting at an apex at the top. And it would look something like this. We've got one, two, three, four, five sides on the bottom. So that's our pentagon, our base there. And then we've got our five triangles going up to the top. So let's count our faces. So we've got the pentagon on the bottom. So that's going to be one. And then we've got five triangles. One, two, three, four, five. So altogether, there would be six faces. So that will have six faces, which is what we're looking for, the solid of six faces. So that would be our answer, the pentagon-based pyramid. And finally, just to make sure that we've got the right answer, our last option was a hexagon-based pyramid, where that would have one hexagon on the bottom, on the base, and then it would have six triangles meeting at the top, so that would have seven faces. So that wouldn't be the correct answer. So the correct answer is a pentagon-based pyramid. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number 10. So question number 10 says, circle the solid that has got 18 edges. So we're looking for a solid with 18 edges. So we've got our options. We've got our pentagonal prism, our pentagon-based pyramid, hexagonal prism, and a hexagon-based pyramid. So let's go back to our pentagonal prism, so this one here, and let's count the number of edges. So we've got one, two, three, four, five on the front, one, two, three, four, five on the back, and five joining them, so that's going to have 15 edges. So I would have 15, not the 18 we're looking for. A pentagon-based pyramid, so let's look at our pentagon, so let's have a look at our pentagon-based pyramid. So it has one, two, three, four, five on the bottom, and one, two, three, four, five leading upwards. So it's going to have 10 edges. Now we're looking for 18. Let's consider a hexagonal prism. Well, it would have a hexagon on the front, so that's going to have six edges. A hexagon on the back, that would have another six edges. And then you'd be joining those up, so that will have six plus six plus six, which is 18. So that should be our answer, a hexagonal prism. Uh, so let's just circle it. And then finally, our hexagon base pyramid, that would have six edges on the base, and then six leading upwards to the top, so that would have 12 edges. So the solid that has 18 edges would be our hexagonal prism. Okay, question number 11. Question number 11 says, shown above is a triangular prism. So we've got this triangular prism. And Archie says the number of faces, add the number of vertices, is two more than the number of edges. Show Archie is correct. So let's write down our faces, our edges, and our vertices and see how many there are for this triangular prism. So faces, we've got a triangle on the front and a triangle on the back, that's two faces. And then we've got one, two, three, I've gone around the outside. So altogether there'll be five faces. Next, we've got our edges. So it's going to have one, two, three on the front, 
three go leading backwards and another three on the back so that would have nine edges and in terms of our vertices our corners it's got one two three on the front and one two three on the back so all together there'd be six vertices now archie said the number of faces which is five plus the number of vertices which is six is equal to 11 and he says that's two more than the number of edges well the number of edges is nine plus two is equal to 11 so archie is correct so the number of faces five plus the number of vertices which is six which is two more than the number of edges and you just explain that and i've just explained that archie is correct is five plus six which is the faces plus the vertices is equal to 11 and that's two more than nine which is the number of edges okay our next question so question number 12 question number 12 we've been given a table and we've got three shapes a cube a square base pyramid and a triangular prism and we've been asked to fill out these missing numbers which are the faces edges and vertices for each of them so let's start with a cube it's got six faces just thinking of a dice edges well it's got four edges at the front four edges at the back and four edges leading back to join them up so it's got 12 edges all together and it's got eight vertices eight corners so if we consider our square base pyramid, we've got five faces, so that's the bottom, and then the four triangles, so that's five altogether. Edges, we've got one, two, three, four on the bottom, and then one, two, three, four leading upwards. So altogether, that's eight edges. And vertices, we've got our one, two, three, four, five vertices. So it's got five vertices. And then finally, in terms of a triangular prism, well, in terms of faces, well, it'll have a triangle at the front and a triangle at the back, that's two. And then it's gonna have three rectangles, the right-hand side, the left-hand side, and the bottom. So that would have five faces. Edges, it would have nine, because it would have three on the front, three on the back, and three joining them up, so that would be nine. And in terms of vertices, it's got three vertices at the front and three at the back, so it would have six vertices. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at question number 13. So question number 13 says, the cross section of a prism is an n-sided polygon. So we've got a prism, so a prism is a shape that's got the same cross section the whole way through it, and that cross section is an n-sided polygon. So polygons are shapes such as triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagons, heptagons, shapes with straight sides, and it's got n straight sides. So we don't know the number of sides. It could be a triangle, it could be a quadrilateral, it could be a pentagon, hexagon, and so on. And we've been asked to circle the number of edges that that prism has so and we've been given four options and they are 2n n plus 2 n plus 3 or 3n now in this question because we don't know the number of sides what we're going to do is so i'm going to sketch two prisms so here we've got a pentagonal prism so we've got a prism which has a pentagon as the cross section so it's got five sides that cross section and here we've got a cuboid which has a rectangle as the cross section and it's a prism and so in that case n would be equal to four because it's a four-sided polygon that cross section and let's consider the number of edges that these prisms have so our pentagonal prism it has got five edges at the front one one, two, three, four, five. It's got five edges leading backwards, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's got five at the back, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's got 15 edges. If we consider our cuboid, there's going to be four edges at the front, one, two, three, four. There's four edges leading back, five, six, seven, eight. And there's four edges at the back, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that has got 12 edges. So if we compare the number of sides that the polygon has, so in this case it was a pentagon which has five sides, and then if we look at the prism, it has 15 edges. In this case, the cross section was a four-sided polygon, so n was equal to four, and the cuboid has 12 edges. So the number of edges is three times larger than the number of sides the polygon has. And that makes sense because you would have those edges at the front, you'd have those edges leading backwards, and then you'd have those edges at the back again. So that means if we had an n-sided polygon, there'd be three times as many edges. And in algebra, to multiply n by three, that would be three n. So answer would be three n, that's it. Okay, let's have a look at question number 14. So question number 14 starts off the same, but this time we've been asked to circle the number of faces the prism has. So we've got our pentagonal prism and we've got our cuboid. Our pentagonal prism obviously has a cross section with a pentagon, so it's got five sides, so it's a five-sided polygon, so we've let n equal five. And let's look at the number of faces that pentagonal prism has. It's got one, pentagon at the front it's got one pentagon at the back and then it's going to have five rectangles going around so it's going to be three four five six seven so it's got seven faces 
And then if we consider our cuboid, our cuboid has got six faces. There's a face on the front, the back, the right-hand side, the left-hand side, the top and the bottom. So it's got six faces. Now if we compare the number of sides that the cross-section has, that polygon, that cross-section, so for our pentagonal prism, there was five sides because it's a pentagon, so n is equal to five. And then if we look at our pentagonal prism, it has seven faces. If we considered our cuboid, the cross-section was a rectangle, so it has got four sides, n is equal to four. And then if we consider our prism, our cuboid, it had six faces faces altogether. So the number of faces is two more than the number of sides of the cross section. So we're looking for n plus two and that will be answer n plus two, two more than the number of sides. If we considered a hexagonal prism, so that would be a prism with a cross section of a hexagon which has got six sides, it would have eight faces. There would be the hexagon at the front, the hexagon at the back, and then you'd have your six rectangles going around the outside. So the number of faces that that prism have would be two more than the number of sides of the cross section. Okay, let's have a look at question number 15. Okay, question number 15 starts off the same as question number 13 and 14. So again, we've got our prism which has an n-sided polygon cross-section. So we've got our pentagonal prism and our cuboid. For our pentagonal prism, again, the number of sides of the cross-section was 5. So it's a 5-sided polygon, so n is equal to 5. And this time we've been asked to circle the number of vertices the prism would have. So let's count the number of vertices that that pentagonal prism has. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 vertices at the front. And that makes sense because it's a pentagon. And then we're going to have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and number 5 at the back. So there's going to be 10 vertices. If we look at our cuboid, it has a cross section which is a rectangle, a quadrilateral, and it's got 4 vertices at the front. One, two, three, four. And if we look at the back, it's got another four, so five, six, seven, and eight. So it has eight vertices. So if we have a look at our pentagonal prism, we had n was equal to five, and it's got 10 vertices. For our cuboid, we had n was equal to four, and it's got eight vertices. So the number of vertices the prism will have will be double whatever n is, or 2n. So that's it, so our answer would be 2n. So if we had a hexagonal prism, which has got n is equal to six, that hexagonal prism would have 12 vertices, it'll have six at the front and six at the back. Okay, let's have a look at question number 16. So question number 16 says, the base of a pyramid is an n-sided polygon. So we've got a pyramid and it's got a base which is a polygon and it's got n sides. So for instance, it could be like this triangular base pyramid, which has got n equal to three, it's a three-sided shape on the base. It could have four sides on the base, so such as this square base pyramid. Uh, the base could have five sides, so it could be like this pentagon base pyramid and so on. And we've been asked to circle the number of edges that the pyramid has. So let's look at these pyramids and see how many edges they've got. So if we start off with our triangular base pyramid, the base has got one, two, three edges. And then we've got three edges leading up, four, five, six, so the six edges. For our square base pyramid, there's four edges on the base, one, two, three, four, and another four leading up, five, six, seven, eight. So it looks like the number of edges is double the value for n. And let's look at our pentagon base pyramid. So we've got one, two, three, four, five edges on the bottom and another five leading up, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is ten edges. So that means that the number of edges will be double whatever n is. So that means it'll be two n. Okay, let's have a look at question number 17. Question number 17 says, the base of a pyramid is an n-sided polygon, so it starts off the same as question 16. And this time we've been asked to circle the number of faces the pyramid has. So let's start off with our triangular base pyramid, so our tetrahedron. There's one face on the bottom, and then three triangles, so we've got two, three, four, so it's got four faces. Our square base pyramid, it would have a face on the bottom, a square, and it would have four triangles, so one, two, three, four, five faces. And our pentagon base pyramid, it has a pentagon on the bottom, and then it's got five triangles going around, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'd have six faces. And as you can see, there's one more face in the value for n, so whenever n was equal to three, the pyramid would have four faces. When n's equal to four, the pyramid would have five faces. And whenever n's equal to five, the pyramid would have six faces. So that makes sense. The number of faces would be one more than the number of sides of the base. So it's gonna be n plus one. And finally, question number 18, our last question, it starts off the same as questions 16 and 17, um, but this time we've been asked to circle the number of vertices the pyramid has. So let's count the number of vertices. So we've got our triangular base pyramid, our tetrahedron. It's got one, two, three, four vertices. We've got our square base pyramid. It's got one, two, three, four, 
five vertices, and our pentagon base pyramid has got five on the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, so it'll have the same number as the number of sides of the shape on the base, but also have one on the top, so six, so six. So the number of vertices will be one more than the number of sides of the polygon on the base, so it's gonna be n plus one, and that's it. And that's it. So this has been the video solutions to the 3D shapes or edges, faces and vertices practice questions on Cobra Mavs. I really, really hope you found it useful. And if you have found it useful, please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Cobra Mavs. Also, if you do need any extra help on 3D shapes or edges, faces and vertices, please feel free to go to CorbMavs.com and watch videos number three and five. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye.